Hello everyone and welcome to Amacraft. This server will be used to host well the people that work at Amazon facilities. It is still being developed and designed. Uh, I originally came up with the design for Spawn, but it has been beautified by Corrosive. Um, someone else I play with. We also play with Mr. Plague Doctor and Rain Forester. Uh, we are playing on a mod pack. The mod pack is All the Mods 3 launched through the Twitch app. Um, this is my Christmas skin. I hope you all like it. So uh, I'll show you around a nice tour of the server and where everything is. So uh, let's get started, shall we? So first things first, we're going to head to Corrosive's base. Um, he, Corrosive, also runs the YouTube channel Chuck's Basics if you're all interested in what he does. Uh, see, F5, and here we go. Now, please note, I will be playing both survival and creative on this game. Survival to legit play and creative for community builds like the Nether Hub. Uh, it depends on if we get more people, whether or not we can count on them to do things. But as you can see, this is Corrosive's base. These are all his chests, his chicken cooker, uh, see armory, and all that good stuff. Um, we also have anti-griefing on this thanks to the mod pack. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. He has a back door that I did not know about. Oh. See furnaces, anything in there? Ooh, he has blocks of coal. I might take some of that for myself eventually. Oh, and he has a nice pet dog. I might show him how to name him with a name tag later on. But he also has a nice farm going on. And someone's trolling him again. Anyways, he also has cows. And he has a nice little setup to start out with. Um, The one thing about all the mods 3 mod pack, uh, we have a nutrition thing. Basically, I'm not sure what happens if any of these get to zero, so I'm not going to let that happen to me. But that's why we have different kinds of vegetables and stuff that we can grow. Alrighty, next stop will be my base. Now, remember what I said, people. Uh, the Nether Hub is a community build I have been working on. I've been working on it in creative. The housing for the Nether Portal was created once again by Corrosive. And here we go. I developed the nether hub design. The reason why those are blocked off is for later expansion. But this is the way to my base. Uh, you can also get to Mr. Plague Doctor's base from my base. Uh, he also requested to use my portal for the time being, so I will not make him a direct portal. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. We're going to time lapse this. And here is my base. So, while in the middle of playing survival and mining, I came up, well, I somehow teleported upstairs, I can't remember what I did exactly, and there were skeleton horses with skeletons on them. And it was raining, it was a thunderstorm, you know how they spawn. So, uh, I was getting my butt kicked, and I had a call for reinforcements from the person I was mining with, once again corrosive, and he saved my hide. So, yeah, um, this is my nice little 5x5 five five home, uh, 7x7 seven seven if you count the blocks that it's made out of. I also have a nice little storage system. Also, the mod pack has oil for all kinds of stuff. Um, two shulker boxes, which is given to me by someone. And my nice storage system. I plan on expanding this with my beacon. And, uh, yeah. So that's my storage system, and let me show you the kind of ores this mod pack has. This is stuff that has been legitly mined. So we have things like gold, silver, lead, iron, all the way down to dilithium and stuff. Lithium. Yes, I did say dilithium. There is a spaceship mod pack on here. Uranium, osmium, uh, black quartz, and all kinds of stuff like that. And then we also got crystals. One sec. Uh, merge. We also have crystals, which I don't know what they're for, but I'm collecting them for when I can find out later. This mod pack has over 250 mods in it. Um, 
We also have... I forgot I moved that. Uh, the marble is up here. All uh, the redstone I've been collecting. And stuff like that. Uh, and some kind of dust. I don't know what these are for. Oh. Still don't know what they're for. Anyways. Yeah, I like I said, I plan on expanding this downwards and then outwards to make a much bigger storage system considering this has 250 mods and adds a lot of items to the game. Um... We are now going to switch over to creative just because I don't have an elytra or rockets yet. And this is so that I can get to someone's base. Now, let's see. I don't want a certain person finding out where the space is. Mainly because I promised someone I wouldn't let on where it was. See, go as high as I can. And there's Plague Doctor's base. We are slowly making our way there. Also, this mod pack has floating islands. And we are almost at the beam. Also, something I noticed that uh, you go high enough, all beams, including beacons, stop working. Here we go. And this is Plague Doctor's base. He, he's still just starting out. Uh, better not open that. He has a horse, which means he, this, uh, Plague Doctor plays legitly on the server, as well as Rain Forester, but, um, yeah, I don't know where Rain Forester's base is, so we're going to take a quick look at Plague Doctor's. Um, he has all kinds of wheat, potatoes, carrots, uh, cotton seeds, apple trees, uh, let's see, anything else? Barley seeds, sand, wait. Not saying. Cotton seeds again. So yeah, he's growing a lot of stuff. Um, he would be on right now, however, his internet connection went down, and he does not know when he will have it back up. And Corrosive runs off his cell phone because his satellite internet, for some reason, does not like the server. Um, so let's go inside his base. Let's see, he has a mystical white flower in here, two of them. These are different kind of crafting grids you can use. As you can see, Tinker's Constructs lets you do all kinds of nice stuff. As this game progresses, I, bleh, as this game progresses, I will make sure to explain what each item does that I wind up creating. And I will be getting a lot of help from Plague Doctor and like. Um... I think he made... Oh, this is cool. If this is a mod style that I think it is, then this is basically a smelter for smelting different kinds of tools. So, we're going to leave that alone because I'm not sure how it works. And we're going to continue on down. He has several different mines branching off from each other. Uh, crystals, mag magenta shimmering mushroom, and some other stuff. Uh, sad part is, whenever his internet went down and he lost connection, he was in the middle of a cave spider infestation. So, when he logs back in, he may get killed. But luckily, he has been. And this is Plague Doctor's base. Please remember, this server was just started up two days ago. Uh... And we are using beastnode.com in order to run it. And that's all there is. I guess it's time to tell you plans and the like.
Uh, let's first get back to mine, my base, so that we can oh, uh, talk there. I'm going to best, no, I'm going to pop back on as soon as I get there. So, my goals for this game. Uh, one is to understand the mods and try to incorporate them in several builds. Uh, another is to expand outward further, probably over there. Um, build a castle, things like that. I also, this has a spaceship mod. And since it has a spaceship mod, I want to build a spaceship. Hello, Dilithium. Hello, spaceships. I hope that's the correct mod. But, uh, I will show a tutorial on, later on how to use this mod pack through Twitch. I had several issues, and I will talk about them as I record. Such as, for some reason... And I don't know why. Um, whenever I tried loading uh, this mod pack, the way the Twitch app play, Twitch app works is it will load the mods, start up the native launcher, and then it should pop up down there. But for some reason, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to pop right. So I wound up uninstalling several programs, and I eventually figured out how to fix it. So, yeah, uh, there is that. Um, by the way, I hope y'all like my Christmas suit. Um, let's see. What else do I plan on doing? I plan on making this a massive community for friends and friends of friends that work at Amazon. Uh, like I said, this is supposed to be a friendly server for everyone to play on. And it's just something I'd like to do, you know. I see people like Mumbo and Grin and Exumavoid and people like them working together all the time making massive interesting builds and that's something I eventually want to do. So I guess that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any ideas for builds I can do, and yes I can build a lot better than this, but remember this whole section isn't creative and did create this. So this ought to be proof that I can build unique design structures that are really nice. Also, this is vibrant quartz glass and it likes to glow. So if I can build stuff like this in survival, which I eventually plan on doing after I gather enough resources and I don't die. Um, and no, we're not in hardcore, I just hate dying. I will hopefully be able to show my ability to build stuff within the Minecraft game. Um, if I could find a way to hook up my Nintendo Switch to my computer, which I could if I had a capture card, but the only one that would work is $160, or at least for me, um, I would show you all kinds of stuff I've done on the Minecraft Switch Edition. Um, so I will see you all later. Have a good day.